take ano lang <laughs> not take interruption but yes um once again i would like to recognize the presence of our resource facilitators dr tito rodriguez sir and uh kasama na po ang kanyang better half <laughs> si ma'am carol rodriguez who is also going to help us uh, maraming salamat po kasi para sa bayan talaga <laughs> yung tulong na binibigay dito sa amin. Uh, I would also, of course, like to uh, acknowledge our unit heads who are here right now for our two-day two -day workshop. In a few days, we're going to celebrate our 29th anniversary. 29 years na po tayo no? And most of the time, if, if you go to UP system, no, ang parating um, Sinasabi, UP mean the smallest CU, uh, not just in terms of student population, but also in terms of population of our personnel, and also in our facilities. Napaka cute po ng UP Pita now. Tulad ng Chancellor. <laughs> but we are slowly changing that narrative because of the evolving landscape in the current times. According to economist uh, Dr. Elizabeth King, 50 years ago, Philippines was leading in Asia because of its educated labor force. But sad to say, progress has slowed and right now, our neighbors have already overtaken us in terms of human capital and economic development. When I was a grad school, a grad, graduate student in Japan, ako lang po yung Pilipino sa aming building. And most of the other graduate students were from Vietnam. Ang dami din ang pinapadalang ano, graduate students no, sa Japan. And last year, I had a chance also to, to visit uh, university in, in Vietnam and mapapawaw ka kasi ang aggressive na talaga ng Vietnam ngayon. No? Now, if you zoom in to Mindanao, the statistics are not so, are also not so flattering. According to the World Bank, the underemployment rates in, Viet, uh, in Mindanao are still high. Medyo bumaba, bumaba na siya, pero mataas pa rin yung underemployment. And dahil daw yan sa, sa lack of quality jobs in Mindanao. Of course, if you need quality jobs, you also need appropriate knowledge and skills for your workforce. So to create quality jobs, we need to build up the knowledge and skills of our human capital. But sad to say again, majority, we, maybe we don't see it here in Davao, but majority of the workforce in Mindanao, according to statistics, are educated up to the elementary and secondary level lang. That is our current labor force in Mindanao. And therefore, if you look at the demand of employers versus the skills that our current workforce has. Of course, there is a gap, there is an obvious gap. And therefore, the tertiary education has a role, important role to play there. But then again, looking again at the statistics, Mindanao has, compared to Visayas and Luzono, Mindanao has limited opportunities and access to tertiary education. So with that in context, how can UP Mindanao be part of the solution? So I would like to propose three things that we can do. These are not small things, these are big things, but these are three important things that uh, we need to do in the next years. First is we need to grow into a comprehensive university. Mindanao is now diversifying from agriculture 
to industry and services. So to complement that, we also need to diversify the disciplines that we are offered here in the university as training, training ground for the human capital. Second, we need to continue to provide quality education and services. Excellence is one of our values and we need to continue to uphold excellence in the way we offer our learning, our, our teaching, and our services in the university. Quality, we, we must continue continue practice quality so that eventually it becomes a part of our lifestyle. And then finally, sabi na ni Sir Tito at saka Mang Carol, first time daw nila dito sa UPP Dalawang. Ganda ng campus natin, pero ang layo. <laughs> Napaka isolated because of the unique, uh, unique location of our campus. We have to transform it into a community campus where our students and our personnel can have ready access to basic needs and services. Now, with the rapidly changing times, our it has become clear that our growth, our transformation in the next years cannot just happen in a traditional fashion. Most of the universities worldwide are now shifting towards the 21st based, 21st century based curriculum. They are now veering away from guided learning towards a self-directed from problem-based learning. And uh, in this kind of curriculum, we are providing, preparing the students for the real world. So learning is now focused on skills. Most important na ngayon yung skills. Such as collaborative problem solving, creativity, hands-on learning, cultural competency, communication, ethical decision-making, information and media literacy, leadership, critical thinking, personal responsibility, and initiative. Now, in, in the midst of learning, we are also continually rocked by unforeseen circumstances, such as natural calamities, epidemic, disruptive technologies, and many more. Last week, Kaka-experience lang natin. Tatlong araw tayong work from home. So, this is now our new normal. We have to learn to live in a disruptive type of environment. And to do that, we need to be more flexible and agile in our learning systems. The traditional classroom, we have to let go of that now. And we have to replace that with a flexible and agile learning system where we can maximize both physical and virtual spaces. And of course, we are not alone in this uh, challenge, in this journey. We can always continue to seek partnerships with other SEU, uh, SUCs, HEIs, and other institutions. So in other words, what I'm trying to say here is that we need to innovate. UP Mindanao is in the best position to innovate. We are young enough to be able to absorb changes in the university, in the institution, yet mature enough to be able to implement them effectively and efficiently. So this is now the best time to influence the direction of the university. And we are here today, gathered, for that purpose. And uh, the next two days, we're going to review what we have accomplished so far in terms of our strategic plan and continue to plan for our dreams. So first of all, I would like to thank everyone for all the hard work 
that you have done for the past two years uh, and that you have been an important part of our journey in our strategic plan. Today, there are four things that um, I would like to ask of you. So, kung si Arma mahilig sa give me, an, give me a, mga letters, ako rin mahilig sa acronym. Okay. So, four things that I would like to ask of you today. Uh, an acronym ay ATIN. Okay. First is A, alignment. So, I'd like to request everyone to align ourselves with our shared goals and values. The most powerful thing an institution can have is alignment. Alignment amplifies our efforts. Kahit maliit na effort na lang yan, lang yan, it can be amplified when we align ourselves with each other. Letter T. So, si, kung si Arma daw sa sabi na, give me a T. <laughs> Letter T. Think big and beyond. We are planning for this year, 2024, but the impact of what we are going to do is going to be, it's going to have a lasting impact. So, what kind of legacy are we going to leave behind for the next generations? I'd like to let us uh, think big and beyond. Letter I would be to inspire us with innovative ideas and solutions that will address the rapidly changing demands of the times. And then N, let's nurture a sense of community. Your burden, your burden is everyone's burden. Your victory is everyone's victory. So to summarize, I would like to share with you a story uh, that I also heard from uh, recent lang, from the recent Sunday service no, that I attended. Sino dito ang nakaka-alala nakaka pa sa We Are The World? Raise your hand. We Are The World. We Are The World. Oi! Umamin! <laughs> okay, so uh, interesting pala yung behind the scenes, no? nung pag-record nung we are, we are the World. If you know We Are The World, you know who were, who were the people who sang this song, di ba? Michael Jackson, Lionel Richie, um, Stevie Wonders, Sino pa ba? Cindy Lauper, Tina Turner, Puro mga, puro mga hot shots, Diba? Puno mga hotshots, puno mga superstar. So, when they organized the recording of We Are The World, of course, there were many big challenges if you have you put so many hotshots, superstars, in one room. First of all, mga paparazzi. <laughs> diba? So, they had to uh, keep the location of the recording a secret. Secret shot. And then, of course, you're talking about hot shots. Lahat din sila, puro busy ang schedule. So, challenge din na ipagsama sila lahat at one time, di ba? But, actually, the most challenging thing that um, the producers no, had to think about when they were preparing for the recording is sino ang magsasolo? <laughs> Sino ang may solo lines? Sino ang walang solo lines? Kali lahat sila, hot shot. Di ba? Lahat sila, syempre, gusto maging may solo part. Di ba? O sino ang pwede maging solo? Do you know what they did? At the door, before everyone entered the room, they put a sign at the door. And the sign said, leave your ego at the door. So, I would like this morning, I would like to pose us the same challenge. Let us leave our ego at the door and let us make beautiful music together. So with that, uh, I hope that we will have a productive and successful two-day workshop for our midterm review and strategic planning alignment. Mayroon kung tag sa inyong tanong.